And I think we're live. Hi, Bailey. Okay. Hey, Facebook. And wherever else you're watching this recording, uh, I, I we're doing a live today. I'm Katrina Sawa with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I have Elaine Terso, my friend, another marketing business coach on the line. And we're going to give you some juicy business growth strategies. Whoop, yes. whoop. So and excited. I can tell you a little disclaimer that we might leak out a little cuss word here or there on this one. I know Elaine's favorite thing and her book title has a bad word in it. I don't know where your book is. my wall. Okay. But <laughs> so this is going to be fun and informative. Yes, it's a Friday. So if you want to grab a beer or a glass of wine and come and hang out with us for 20, 30 minutes, we're going to, you know, move pretty quickly and yeah. see what we can do today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. But today we are talking about business growth strategy. So Elaine, why don't you yeah. tell me a little bit more about you and what you do and how you work with people? Yeah. So I am a launch strategist and business consultant. So I love helping people come up with the ideas. That's like my sweet spot is loving helping people come up with ideas that they can implement into their business. And then I help them actually launch it and actually get it off the ground and get it out of your head and get it into people's hands and start making money and start making an impact. So that's what I love to do. That is like my my zone of genius. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Miss Katrina, tell everybody about you. <laughs> well, this is why I love you because I think we're both uh, my same equal. What's the dang word? Like, it's Friday. I need a drink myself. Um, we're like-minded. We're like-minded yes. <laughs> like as far as we just want to help you get more done, more of the right things done so you can get more clients. And so I've been a business coach now for 19 years. I work with everything from your website to what to say to how to price your programs, what to create, your marketing strategies, what to do on social media, how to hire a team and even get started speaking or writing books. So I do a lot, but I've been around, I've done it all myself, I'm still doing it, I'm still in the trenches, and I have a really good team. People think, oh, you work too hard. No, I have a team, but yeah, I'm here on Friday at four o'clock, but I'm hanging out with my girl. So, <laughs> uh, and we both happen to be Polka Dot Powerhouse members, by the way, so just as a side note, if you don't know about Polka Dot, you need to go check out, we'll have to put that link in the chat when we're done. Um, because we both love, love, love that organization. So yeah. it's how yeah. we met. It's how That's we met. How we I, met. Never, I never would have met you otherwise, right? No. Well, yeah. maybe eventually. Yeah. I don't know. I meet all kinds of people. But yes, Polka Dot brought us together. And mm -hmm. I have, you know, I think we've both gotten clients and made tons of friends and relationships. Yeah. So Absolutely. let's start sharing some of our best business growth strategies. Now, I know we do some startups too, but like if someone's already in business, you know, and maybe they're only at twenty to seventy thousand dollars a year, and some people are like, well, seventy thousand sounds fantastic, mm -hmm. but there's so much more, right? So, yeah. what are some of the biggest growth strategies, and it could be practical, tactical, or mindset related that you mm -hmm. might that you might want to share? Yeah, I think some of the things that you know, um, when we are in the the process of getting. Uh, we like, I always feel like there's a volcano that's about to erupt. Like we start feeling mm -hmm. like some, we're on the brisk of something big, right? Like a volcano is about to erupt. And sometimes we get a little stuck in our head and we start thinking all the negative stuff, all the bad things that could happen. Mindset to me is one of the biggest growth strategies that I like cannot stress enough is that if you do not have a growth mindset, you're not actually going to grow your business. And so um, we got to work on our mindset. We got to get out of the mud. I actually like just today, I, I wrote this whole thing and I had to post it. I did a video and I did everything because did you ever see the never ending story as a kid? Yes. Okay. The swamps of sadness when, I don't know why this was stuck in my head today, but I was like, I, obviously I have to write about it because it's like on my mind. But you know how the horse is sinking and Atreo is screaming and pleading and please come on, you have to believe in yourself, right? Otherwise you're going to sink into the swamp of sadness. I think as entrepreneurs, 
we create our own swamp of sadness. We get stuck in our head and everybody is yelling at us. Come on, you can do it. Come on, encouragement, encouragement. And the thing is, is that you're not going to get out of the swamp of sadness until you believe in yourself. I, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it, right? Like it's the same concept. And so that is like my number one tip is having a growth mindset over a fixed mindset because otherwise, you know, I, I've, I've gone through stages where I built stuff for people. I did all the behind the scenes work for them. And then guess what happened? Their mindset was not in the right place. And they sabotage the whole thing. Ooh. And I was like, wow, okay, mindset. That was like my major aha moment was that I was like, we have to talk about mindset. If we're, if you want to grow your business, we have to talk about mindset. It's so much more than tactics and strategies. And it has to come from here because if you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. You can't, it's just not. It's just That's not. So true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wrote a book about love yourself. I mean, it, yeah. it's not just about loving yourself, but there's, you have to think bigger. Right. I mean, you can't just say, oh, I just want to make a couple thousand dollars a month. And I'm sorry, nobody can live on that. So no. right. bigger. And I was just talking to a client how she's charging a thousand dollars for something I think she can charge twenty five hundred dollars for. Right. It's just making that mindset shift. Yes. And make the hugest difference. Yes. So what other yes. things might you yeah. suggest? Um, I am a huge, huge thing about content. I love creating content. I love spilling out content. I love giving away content. I love helping people however I can. Um, whatever I have in my brain, I'm happy to share it. Right. I just give freely um, because I want to make a difference in one person's life every single day. That's all I care about. Can I make a difference in someone's life today? And if I can share something with them that is going to help them in some way, I'm all over it. So creating content for me is like, oh, it's, oh, it's so fun for me. I love it. It's like, but I take that one piece of content, one per week, that's all I need. And I repurpose it into all the different platforms in all the different ways all throughout the week. So I'll do a video. I'll turn that video into audio, turn that into some, you know, blog post, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, IGTV, all the things. And so that I'm not having to constantly like think of all the things. And then like six months down the road, I can go back and look at what I've already created and recycle it. I don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time because guess what? People are so damn busy with themselves that they don't remember that you posted no. that six months ago. <laughs> like, no, they don't. don't care, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, how can you make it easy for you? And anything that is not in your zone of genius, hire it out. Like, Give it to someone who it is in their zone of genius so that you can focus on income producing activities um, every single day, right? Whether that's meeting with clients, whether that's consultations, whether that whatever it is, but doing the things that are not even your, in your zone of genius, dump it, delegate it or do it, ditch it, whatever you need to do. But zone of genius, stay there. Stay yes. there only. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And a lot of people will say, oh, I can't afford to delegate yet. But you can afford 50 bucks or well, $200. If you yeah. take the things <laughs> off of your plate that are consuming your time that are not making you money and you replace it with an income producing activity, now you can afford to pay the person, right? So you're like, okay, if I give away two hours of social media crap, right, then I can bring in a new client that helps pay for that, right? Like, yeah. hello? Right. Yeah. It's easy math. It's like, what can I do if I give that if, if if I give that away? What can I bring in that's going to generate income that helps me pay for that person? Come on. You have, you have to trust the process. You have to trust the process that it will work out. Yeah. But you also can't like get the help. A lot of times people will try out this and that in, in their business and they're nine months or a year into their business. And now they're asking for help. 
Right. You gotta ask for help on some of this stuff sooner than later. So you don't, yeah. so you're not an urgent need later. Yeah. So. It's, it's the, um, <clears throat> You need a team in order to grow your business. You don't grow your business and then get a team. Like nobody grows a million dollar business by themselves. Like, come even on now. Even a hundred thousand. I had a team no. before I made a hundred thousand dollars. You need help. You you can't <coughs> do it alone and you shouldn't try to do it alone. And you should, in my opinion, hire people smarter than you. Yes. <laughs> hire and people smarter than you. <laughs> Both of us have lots of uh, resources, by the way. So yes. if you need a specific person, you have to get clarity on what you need. Yes. Don't just say, I need an assistant, because that's like, well, there's, you right. know, they're all over the place. Right. right. You got to get clear on what you want to delegate yep. first. Yes. Good point. Exactly. Anything else you want to share? Like, mm. biggest, what's the biggest thing your clients have needed in the last, say, two weeks? What do you like? Um, they've needed sales pages. They've needed like getting the clarity on the big idea and mm -hmm. really how to um, how to sell it, how to um, create the copy in order to attract the people, which I don't know why, but I I love doing that. I wrote this really funny uh, post. Uh, copy for one of my clients. I was like, you know, it'd be really, she's a photographer local in the area. And I said, you know, it'd be really fun. I was like, imperfect family photos. Cause it's that time of year. Right. And she was like, oh my God, I love that. And I'm like, okay, here's the situation. I'm like, mom is trying to gather everybody for the perfect family picture and nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to wear matching outfits. It's itchy. Nobody wants to. And then on the way, the kid throws a tantrum. And now you're like, oh, my God. You've got teenagers rolling their eyes. They'd rather be at home on their cell phone. And everybody is miserable. And all she wants is the perfect family photo. I'm like, how about <laughs> instead? We do it imperfectly. And we, you know, you take pictures of wherever their happy place is. Yeah. And I'm like, she's like, oh my God. So then she posted the copy and oh my God, everybody's like, oh my God, I love this. This is the best. And I'm like, yes, so fun. It's so fun. But I have struggled so hard doing it for myself, but I do it really well for everybody else. <laughs> you and me both. You know, I, I'm really good with the words <clears throat> for other people and what? good ideas like you, but writing things talking through the content for a web page or um, an email or a follow-up autoresponder or whatnot, or a whole series, um, or even a video that they need to put on their web page. I'll be like, oh, blah, 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 and there's your yep. video. Just listen, yep. write it down, and then yep. read it and do it, yep. right? But uh, copy is huge. When you're yep. saying about creating content, um, you're not talking just about free content or creating a course. Um, of course, if you create a course, you have to have a sales page to go with it, right? right? So don't forget, you can't just go in your back office and go create something and then say, okay, here, boing, here it is, right? So, yeah. And I think it's important that the important part here is that coaches need coaches, yeah. right? We, even, even I have, I have two coaches. How many coaches do you have? Right now, just one. He was yeah. quite pricey. So I'm yeah. sitting with one at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> but I've had like, about 16 yeah. in the last 16 years. Yeah, right. because hello, <laughs> we right? can't see what we can't see. We get tunnel vision, right? And so we need that that perspective of someone outside looking in to help us, right? Nobody is immune to that. So if you do not have a coach, get a coach. Yes, <laughs> get a coach. So what this are some what are some of your favorite strategies? Yeah, so you mentioned a few of mine, but I would say uh, one of the biggest things for me is making the website the hub of your business. Yeah. And so many people's websites, frankly, suck, and they don't have any call to action. They don't have any click and buy buttons. There's no free gifts to enter in to get on your email list. You don't even have a CRM attached. There's no video on so many people's websites. They, you have to design your website for people that have no idea who you are, not yeah. for your best friend. Your best friend will look all over the place and try to find the thing they're looking for. But the person that's never met you before goes to your homepage and they have to resonate immediately 
with the problem or solution that you're offering that has to match what they're looking for. And then they need to get to know you right away. They need to be able mm -hmm. to hear you and hear your philosophy and your, like if, if they come and listen to us, maybe they're this like reserved quiet person or whatever. And they're like, oh, these girls are too wild and crazy for me. I don't want to talk to them. Right. So it's okay. It's a personality yep. too. Yep. So yep. you need to put yourself out there more. And I'd say get a little bit more personal. A lot yeah. of times people put just uh, bio stuff on their website when it needs to be like, it's like some fun stuff too. Like what are the top yeah. funny things about yourself or mm -hmm. pictures of your family or are you doing silly things or whatnot? Mm -hmm. Getting personal and getting, putting video. I have video on almost every single page of my website because there's a purpose for every single page. Mm. Sometimes people just put up pages because yeah. they think they need an about, a services, a blog, a contact of this, a speaking page, or whatever, a resources page, or a FAQ, but they don't have a purpose. Yeah. So being the website, yeah, the website, the hub of your business. And it's mm -hmm. funny because I can't te talk this and put these little captions up. <laughs> 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 Let's see, your website is Get a quick um, ass website. <laughs> okay, so there's that tip. Um, and then, uh, oh, where did my list go? So <clears throat> stories, mm -hmm. um, people, like Story I said, you personal stories mm -hmm. are critical. Speaking yes. is one of the biggest things I do to get clients. And I know you speak to get clients as well. Mm -hmm. We speak mm -hmm. in general to get leads or get people on our email list or sell tickets to our events or whatever. Um, but speaking is probably the most critical, uh, speaking and sales, of course, are two of the most critical essential uh, skills an mm -hmm. entrepreneur needs to learn and mm -hmm. get and really hone their skills. I'm constantly honing my skills. As yeah. far as speaking goes, I was just at a speaker mastermind learning even more skills to really enhance some of the things that I'm doing. And I've been speaking for 20 years. You think, mm -hmm. oh, she's good enough. No, there's always more. You should always, always be calling yourself. And the marketplace has changed, right? Yeah. And we have it's a lot of work. Ever to evolving. So the way that people used to teach speaking 10 years ago is completely different. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's still people that are speaking uh, the same way, but they're not seeing as good a result. Mm -hmm. So I would say get good at speaking and there's yeah. trainings out there. And, but every trainer is different. I could, I know at least a dozen people who teach speaker training like mm -hmm. I do when we all do different things. Mm -hmm. And why do you need three or four different trainings? Because we all do different things. Right. You're not going to learn everything you need from one person. You're just not. Trust me. Yeah. I've invested over $150,000 in speaker mm -hmm. training, speak to sell training, speak from the stage training, speak in virtual training, language skills and speaking. Uh, like, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, so speaking and like you said, learning how to sell more. Um you don't have to be salesy to sell more. Yeah. You you need to enroll or invite people. You need to be more assertive is the point. Mm -hmm. Most people are not assertive enough yeah. in their conversations. You could make money every single day mm -hmm. if you have the right wordings, the right invitations, the right offerings the right next step conversations. And it doesn't have to be salesy. People could be excited to yeah. come and learn from you or buy from you. Yeah. So it's are, really, it's about solving problems, right? That's really what we are as entrepreneurs is we are problem solvers and we want to help people solve problems that is keeping them from having the business of their dreams. Right. And so that's what we do. And as long as we can help people, I think, you know, figure out what their real problem is, what the root of it is. And then like, okay, this is how we're going to help you through that. I think that's exactly what needs to happen. And I, you know, talking about speaking, I think, you know, COVID really shift helped people. I mean, it shifted everything very quickly. And some people thrived. Some people didn't, right? It was who was willing to shift and to pivot. I know everybody hates that word, but that's exactly what it forced us to do was we had to figure out a new way 
to connect with our audiences and do things maybe we had never done before and just uh, like, okay, I'm going to try something new. I've never done it. And now we're all experts at it because we've had to do it multiple times, right? Over and over again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have some clients that were so not techie whatsoever and COVID hit yeah. and they were very reluctant to go onto Zoom and to learn things and even yeah. get their own Zoom line. And it took them maybe two or three months and they find said, Okay, I guess I have to do this. <laughs> We're not going back to normal. We're not going back to normal. In yeah. fact, my international speaker network that I run had an in-person lunch and, and then a virtual. And I'm like, why would I go back to an in-person lunch? I have more people on my virtual calls than at any right. lunch and that takes me three, four hours out of my day instead of one. Right. right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And yep. there's just so much more to manage. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I love live events. I was just at one this week, which was amazing to get back yeah. in the swing of it. Right. Um, and I just can't wait. I can't wait for a celebration with polka dots. I know. I know. We're both speaking at celebration. And yeah. unfortunately, if you haven't already bought your ticket and you're not a member, you can't attend now because they, they shut off registrations. Yeah. Next um, year. Yeah. It's next year. So, but we're excited to go to Minneapolis to do that. Yeah. And yep. um, I just bought my costume for the pink. Orange start party. I was trying to find orange and pink clothes, and I'm just I don't wear those colors. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm not. I'm not actually wearing pink and orange. So you're not. I'm not. I'm doing something a little different. I know. She's just. I'm, I'm not even going to talk about it. So <laughs> let's. <laughs> The last thing that I would say, and maybe you have a comment about this too, is the uh -huh. biggest mistake that entrepreneurs make uh, to not make enough money is they don't talk to enough people. They're yeah. just not talking to enough people. I, it's like my number one step on what to do. What do you need to do? You need to talk to more people. You need to talk to more people in different ways, not just yeah. uh, email or yeah. it's gotta be multiple ways. You gotta do things yeah. like this, right? I yep. just have randomly said, hey, Elaine, let's do a Facebook Live. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to share it to my people. She's going to share it to mm -hmm. her people. We're going to put it on LinkedIn, on Facebook, mm -hmm. on YouTube, mm -hmm. and Twitter. Mm -hmm. And how many more followers can we each get? Let's see. Yeah. Right. right. So exactly. Yeah. It's, this is free marketing. I'm all I about know. I'm about free first, then pay. Why would you go run an ad? No offense on Facebook. Uh, we're on here now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when you can just go live or, you know, do something, do a free call and invite yeah. people. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, it is about talking to people and it is about meeting new people. And one of the things um, that I am really passionate about is not sending a dirty DM. That's what I call it is a dirty DM. And this is the dirty DM of like, it just happened to me today. Someone asks a question about what's your favorite product for this company. And I am a loyal customer um, of this company. I love their products. So I share these are my favorites. And then she DMs me trying to sell me something. I'm like, that's what are you doing? Like, I've never talked to you before. Like, yes, we're Facebook friends, but we don't have that kind of relationship yet. No. So you had a dirty DM me without, uh, I can't I like have it. It anymore. So I'm just like, <laughs> stop doing that. Build relationships. I'm telling you right now, if you build relationships with people, you will have a much greater success. Yes. <laughs> it will take more time. However, you will be more prosperous. Stop sending dirty DMs. Well, and this is almost as bad as when we started going to networking events way back when before social media, you know, and you'd go to networking events at least four or five times a month. I used to go like yeah. 15 yeah. times a month yeah. to a networking event. And you'd get those people that would just take your business card and then they'd go back and then add you to their email list. And it's like, no, yes. you don't do that. Yes. Not unless I say it's okay or unless yes. you actually you yes. entice them to get on your email list. Right. Them for, yeah, anyways. Yeah. So that's the equivalent of that yes. is that spammer. I like the dirty stop DM. Doing it. <laughs> Just stop it. Just okay. stop it. <laughs> uh, well, 
I hope you guys got some fun tips today. And of course, either one of us can go deeper with you. We both have events. We both have online courses. We both do consulting. So reach out to either one of us. And Elaine, um, tell us uh, maybe where to find a free gift of yours. Yeah. So I have a speedy launch starter kit available on my website at insourceatmarketing.com. Just click on the starter kit and it's actually um, a PDF plus a video, and then you can get more value by talking with me one-to-one, -one, and I will help you come up with your big idea for your business and then help you figure out how to get it launched and all of the things that need to happen in order to make that happen. And I guess what? It's not perfect either. <laughs> I know. What? It's not going to be perfect. And that is 100% okay. It does not have to be perfect. So Right. What about That's you, Katrina? Awesome. Tell them what you got. Awesome. So I actually have done so much content creation in the past that I have a whole bunch of free trainings. Mm -hmm. And so I just put them all on one page, my free trainings page at jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And literally, you can find a free audio training on how to get started speaking, how to create, uh, get published or write a book. How to, I have my Jumpstart Your Biz Kit there, which is a great audio on marketing strategies along with a checklist of things you can do every day. There's a call with me. There's my need number worksheet, which is great to help you figure out your big money goals and how to make them bigger. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's so many things. And you just have to take action. We're all about action. That's and all. Literally. If you, if you like anything we've shared, go get it. You don't have to like commit to us for 14 yeah. years. You don't yeah. that's fine. If you well, like what we got, then go away. <laughs> it's all good. But go check out some free stuff because I know we give lots of value. And I know at least by getting some of the free stuff, you're gonna you're gonna learn something. I know you're gonna learn something. Stuff. Yep. I have what I call the vault, and the vault has all my all the things, all the classes I've ever taught, all available. It's nice. like you, like, you know what I mean? Like, why not just give it away? Like here, go learn, right? Yeah. There's so much you can do, but it's like, are you, what are you doing every single day in your business to grow? Are you going to say stale and stagnant or are you going to get out of your own damn way and get shit done? <laughs> Hopefully the latter. Hopefully and uh, don't worry, we make money. It's okay. Don't feel sorry for us. I have sometimes people say, oh, honey, don't give so much. Don't worry. I'm good. It's We're all good. good. Yeah. I know the right people will come. Because, because we can. We yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and Elaine, you're up in Washington. I'm in California. Yep. We're both Pacific yep. uh, time girls, but, you know, we work with people from anywhere. So please reach yep. out if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Yay. Thanks, thanks for Carlin. Okay. I'll see you soon. I'll see you next month. I'm so excited. <laughs>